Well, today was the day I went into town. I had a short day at work, so um, I went into the big, big town close by where I work to do some grocery shopping. There's the Safeway there, a Dollar Tree, a grocery outlet, and a Walmart. So I'm gonna start with Safeway first. I just did a couple, uh, got a couple things there in the produce department because their produce is very good and usually well priced. Well, I got three romaine lettuces. It's three ninety nine. Romaine lettuce is probably the best lettuce you can have. It has protein in it. Uh, I don't know, I've read up a little bit about it. Pretty good lettuce, and I like the crunch. I got two cabbages, a big green cabbage, and a big red cabbage. Cabbage is amazing. Um, I use it in coleslaws, in fish sandwich toppings, um, stir fries. I find cabbage to be extremely um, useful and it's also resilient it'll last a long time in the refrigerator <laughs> i got some mayonnaise can't live without mayonnaise and i got uh 10 pounds of russet potatoes the next is dollar tree truthfully since they raised their prices and seem to have shrunk a lot of their products i don't go to dollar tree or do as much shopping at dollar tree as i used to i find uh Walmart or watching sales at other places um, is, you know, usually a little more economical, but they do have some good stuff there. So I'll tell you what I got. First of all, I got some uh, frozen spinach. I found with the frozen vegetables, it's really catch as catch can at the uh, different grocery stores. So I saw this $1.25, got it. I did see it at Walmart later. Um, frozen vegetables, they were it was about the same size, maybe a tiny bit bigger for a dollar, but that's not the sort of chance I want to take. There's certain things, um, you know, if it's a, a matter of 25 cents or whatever, I'm, I'm not going to drive around to all the stores looking for that amazing deal, especially since they often don't have it. <laughs> you don't want to lose your opportunity. So I got that. I got two of these dispensers. To, um, let me see, them. there they are, uh, that you can use for... Um, I want to put oil in them by the stove because uh, sometimes I just end up pouring out too much oil when I uh, cook. So this will kind of control the amount coming out. I got uh, these two trowels. I love these things. I saw these on a gardening channel recently. They're just real slim and I thought for pulling seedlings out or for pulling something in or digging a small hole, this real slim, um, narrow, uh, little trowel or shovel is perfect. So I got two of them with bright handles so I can always find them. <laughs> I got um, more breadcrumbs. I use these a lot in my fritters. And this was a cool thing. Um, this Olive Garden Italian seasoning, uh, dressing. Um, it looked delicious. And what I liked about it, instead of a big bottle that takes up room in the refrigerator, these are three single serve uh, containers or cups. So if I have somebody coming over or I just wanna have a special salad, I can pull one of these out. I don't have a big refrigerator and stuff tends to get lost in there from time to time. So this seems like it would be kind of a fun thing for a treat or for guests. Finally, I find that uh, Dollar Tree still has the best, I think the best value in tortillas. I got these uh, small uh, corn tortillas Dollar twenty, a dollar twenty-five. There's twenty-two in a package. I got two packages, and then I got a twelve-pack of flour tortillas. So I'm just gonna freeze all of these. When I want to make tacos, I don't need all twenty-two. So I'm just gonna freeze what I, I'm, all of them, and take out what I need. I do like these flour wraps. Uh, I guess if you want to have burritos, but what I really like to do is if I have hummus or some sort of sandwich, instead of using bread, I like to to make a wrap out of it. You can get more vegetables in and. Um, I, I can't tolerate a lot of bread, so this is a, a good way to get that in without, you know, creating whatever bread creates, <laughs> whatever issues, issues, issues. <laughs> Finally, Dollar Tree has a really great price on almond milk. So I got four of them, three uh, vanilla flavored and one um, uh, regular and unflavored, unsweetened. It's just great. They are shelf stable. And as I say, they have the best prices I've ever seen anywhere for this. Walmart was a small but significant haul. I got a big bag of cat food. I had the one feral cat. Now, suddenly I have five feral cats. The one feral cat got another feral cat pregnant, and I found um, her and all of the kittens in the uh, crawl space under my house. 
So that's kind of the bad news. The good news is the mouse probably had a few weeks ago so completely eliminated. So I'm trying to figure out what to do with that right now. I was always feeding the other feral cat. Now I'm feeding the mama cat. She's very shy, but she needs to eat if she's nursing. So I feed her under the chair. And when the kittens get a little bigger and are able to come out and eat, I will be making arrangements to have them adopted out or something. But I sure do like the no mouse, uh, no mouse zone I'm suddenly in. So I'll probably keep at least one of them along with the parents. So that was the cat food story. Got some mouthwash. Always good to keep keep yourself as healthy as possible. So when you have to go to the dentist or doctor, it doesn't entail a, a huge expense. I like evening tea, and I got this uh, vanilla. Uh, honey vanilla chamomile I'll give it a try I like those fruit teas the mixed fruit teas I use them for making iced tea um, but they really did not have a very good selection this time I've noticed that tea herb tea selections kind of come and go at um, Walmart I guess part of the whole issues we're seeing here I got some whipped cream <laughs> this was the best price on whipped cream anywhere I think it was a dollar 98 as opposed to more expensive at Safeway and other places friend of mine gave me one of those he had a one of those waffle bowl makers you put the waffle mix in it it, it um, makes like a waffle bowl so I'm gonna make uh, I'm thinking about what I can put in the bowl and uh, I guess I'll be making some treats real soon but I know that whipped cream is gonna uh, <laughs> gonna play a significant part in that uh, but I have some ideas and I will bring you along with me for the ride because I'm real intrigued to see how this waffle bowl thing works and how they hold up and all that sort of stuff and I got some soy sauce. I've become a huge stir fry fan. Um, I actually wanted Bragg's liquid aminos, but they, they were, it was not possible to find them at either Safeway or at Grocery Outlet and said they were out of stock. I don't know what. So I do have the backup of uh, the soy sauce here. And finally, let's get real about life here on the homestead. Oh no, not quite finally, almost finally. Uh, septic system treatment from time to time I, I throw the stuff down this down the toilet keep the septic system going I have no idea what's going on down there so far everything's flushing so I guess it's okay but why why press my luck right and I got a sink stopper from the kitchen sink and some gorilla glue I have some stuff that needs to be glued forever so I'll be using this in the next few days <laughs> My biggest haul was at a uh, grocery outlet. I found some iceberg lettuce. I love the crunch of iceberg lettuce. I, I have it with other um, other lettuces, like I'll have it with the romaine, and it's really good on tacos, but I thought um, I would get ahead of this. And I also got, I've been looking for some parsley. So I got a big container of parsley flakes. Oh, here it is. I think my challenge right now, not only for this, but for all my herbs, in, is to find a darker place to keep them. I, I'm gonna be putting this down under in my pantry where my dried dried foods are and my other oils just so that it won't fade and lose some um, flavor and potency but i think over the long term i have to figure out a storage a storage system for this sort of thing <laughs> i also got some really good deals on baking and i'm going to be doing a video on uh on on baking and how to how to save money baking and hacks for baking but can't find the other one right now but i got oh here it is okay these were obviously christmas two for a dollar gingerbread cookies so that's going to save me some time next year for christmas and this was the biggest biggest one of all pumpkin spice cookie mix four for a dollar so i got four of them so i'm going to be setting these aside and next christmas maybe i'll be less stressed than i was this christmas if i start stocking up on some shortcuts for cookies and treats for everyone my biggest haul at a grocery outlet was from the freezer section. They have a lot of freezer items. So I like these hash brown potato patties. I usually make my own fritters and stuff like that for the morning, but sometimes I just run out of time or I'm tired. So it's, it's great to have these as a backup. So these will go straight to the freezer. I also got the rest of the vegetables I wanted. I wanted um, mixed vegetables. This, believe it or not, was $1.79. Unbelievable. Um, one pound. It, it should have been cheaper and there should have been more in it, but that's, that's what we're facing. Um, I'm gonna put this in the freezer. I like, I like to use these like in rice or in potatoes or, or other things. It's really nice though to have all, all those vegetables in one. So even at $1.79, <laughs> those are going, going, uh, going to be stored. And then I got broccoli. This was I think three or $4 or something like that. 
I don't care if broccoli is fresh or uh, frozen. Actually, I prefer it like this because I use it in, again, in stir fries, so it doesn't matter to me, and it, I think it's cheaper this way. So this is going into the freezer too, and uh, if I run out of cabbage or something, I will just pull this out and have a really nice broccoli stir fry. I like to use it with those um, some, some of those uh, Asian style sauces, just delicious. <laughs> Again, for the baking, I got a huge, huge bag of dark chocolate morsels. I think this was $4.99 for, what is it? I wanna say it's a pound. No, it's two pounds. $4.99 for two pounds. I saw the other uh, chocolate chips there and this was the best deal, the one uh, major package. So it'll be set aside for baking later, baking all, all year. It was a good price and uh, Glad I found it. And these, I always like to get these Gardein uh, chicken tenders. They're not really chicken. I think they're tofu, but they're just delicious. Uh, this is, was they, they raised their price. It was used to be $11.99, now it's $12.99. And I wanna see if it's the same, yeah, it's the same size. So there's no shrinkflation, they just added a dollar. These make nice wraps too. Um, in um, those tortillas are just delicious. With some lettuce and tomato and some ranch dressing is really, really good. <laughs> And these were two for a dollar, these grand buttermilk biscuits. And I, I like to have these in the freezer. Also, uh, especially if you have a surprise guest or I'm making some soup or something, it's really nice to have these ready to go. I do like to make a lot of things by scratch, but sometimes it's just nice to have things that are already made for you. <laughs> I got some hummus. Big container, again, I love hummus, and this is another thing that's delicious wrapped up in a tortilla with some fresh tomatoes and cucumber and lettuce. You can kind of have a salad and a wrap and absolutely wonderful, wonderful lunch. So I got a big one of these, good on celery too. <laughs> I got some non-dairy, I got a non-dairy uh, dip, a garlic uh, Parmesan dip here for vegetables. Again, it's really great with celery or all the great veggies that are starting to come up. And I got some feta style cheese that I'll use maybe on salads. I'll have to open it up and see what it's like. Again, non-dairy. Grocery Outlet has a pretty good selection of non-dairy items. So if you have uh, dairy issues, um, you can get a pretty good deals on things, better deals than sometimes in the regular grocery store. And I also got these uh, Light Life Smart Dogs, again, non-meat uh, sausages. And I have some um, rolls in the freezer that I save for special occasions. <laughs> So I'm gonna make uh, one of these probably tomorrow for work with some sauerkraut and all the good stuff I love on top. <laughs> and finally, I found one thing at the bottom that should have been in the Dollar Tree haul, but it was this little mini Old Bay. Um, I noticed that they're starting to get in spices, herbs and spices that are uh, this tiny little, it's like one ounce size, $1.25, um, but it's very, very handy. I wanted to try Old Bay on a couple things, but I didn't want to commit to a huge, um, container of it because I don't have a lot of room. So this is perfect. I can see if I like it. If I like it and I use it a lot, I can get the bigger container and use that. They also had, I think, garlic salt and a couple other things, um, some some stuff for barbecuing, <clears throat> etc. So I thought this was, this was pretty fantastic for a small kitchen or if you want to try something new out. Prices were appalling. I'm just feeding one person and the occasional guest. I don't know how people manage to feed whole families with these prices. They're, they're really unbelievable. I am very, very fortunate that I decided to volunteer at the food bank and then after volunteering, I found out that we could, we were given you know grocery privileges there and that has been very helpful. But it also has um, insulated me from the price changes because if I get a lot of produce at the food bank, then I don't go out to the grocery store and buy produce or I cook what I have. So I, I don't go out and do shops like this very often. So the, the price hikes have become, are very apparent when you don't buy food um, on a regular basis. So I'm sure they're apparent if you do buy food on a regular basis. Um, I don't know what to tell you about that. Um, I'm planning to make some videos on hacks and how you can stretch um, the food you have and the money you have. And it's just, uh, again, it, it's just something crazy to see some of those prices and what you're getting for it and seeing Sometimes the same thing you used to pay a certain amount for, but it's somehow smaller and you can tell it's smaller. And that is also very, very discouraging. So 
meet me here again in the future. We're going to be talking about how to save money on your grocery bills and what sort of things you can do in baking and in produce and, and stuff like that to, to maybe make a dent in those bills because it is it's not a good thing. Thank you so much for spending time with me and thank you so much for watching.